Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look into the all-new Buick LaCrosse. In this review, I'm going to be highlighting five main topics including styling, performance fuel economy, interior space, cargo space, and a general features overview. Of course, we'll take it on a thorough drive and show you many of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in, start her up, let her run. Along with the remote access smart key system, the LaCrosse comes standard with a push button ignition. To start, just make sure you have the key fob within the interior, put your foot on the brake, and hit the dash mount button to go. For 2017, the LaCrosse has been redesigned from the ground up. Along with an updated powertrain, there's a suite of new technology, improvements in build quality, and a fresh styling approach that's elegant and modern. If you're one who really appreciates attention to detail and craftsmanship, the LaCrosse will certainly be a treat, especially when closely examining the sculpted bodywork. Note the uninterrupted flow of lines that begin up front and carry across the side profile. A couple of my favorite sections of the car include the front grille and rear quarters. The grille adopts a new take on Buick's classic waterfall theme inspired by the 1954 Wildcat 2 concept. Embedded within 24 gloss black vertical bars, you'll find a pair of bright wing-shaped elements that extend out from a red, silver, and blue tri-shield insignia. At the rear quarters, several body lines join up to create what Buick describes as the Sweep Spear, an updated styling feature seen in the previous LaCrosse. Revised proportions give the car a more dynamic and confident look than before. Remember the Avenir concept that Buick debuted back in 2015? If you look closely, you'll see many similarities with the design of the new LaCrosse. Overall length grows by 0.6 inches, accompanied by a 2.7 inch longer wheelbase and a 1.6 inch lower roofline. The front and rear wheels are pushed outward by 1.3 and 1.1 inches respectively, while overall width expands by 0.4 inches. Despite being a larger car thanks to a stronger and lighter platform, the LaCrosse sheds about 300 pounds over its predecessor. Much of the weight savings are related to the use of press-hardened and high-strength steels, not to mention new lower mouse sound absorbing materials. Up front, LED accented HID headlamps are standard along with halogen projector fog lamps. Articulating headlamps that rotate around corners are standard on upper trim levels. The greenhouse has been enlarged and there's plenty of tasteful bright work across the side profile. Out back, along with stylish LED tail lamps, the trunk lid features a molded in deck lid spoiler. The lower rear fascia integrates twin polished exhaust outlets. The LaCrosse competes in the full size premium sedan segment alongside the Lexus ES, Kia Cadenza, Toyota Avalon, and more. Pricing for the 2017 LaCrosse begins at $32,990, including a $925 destination charge. Stepping up to the $36,990 preferred or the $39,590 Essence adds additional comfort and convenience features, while the range topping premium model offers a handful of exclusive amenities, such as massage front seats, a heads up display, the option of all wheel drive, and an expanded range of available electronic safety features. Starting at $41,990, our LaCrosse Premium Tester is equipped with every option available, aside from the $2,200 all-wheel drive system. The major options shown include dark forest green metallic paint, the Driver Confidence 2 package, the Sun and Shade package, the Sights and Sound package, and the Dynamic Drive package. The grand total for everything you see is just north of $48,000. 18-inch wheels are standard on the LaCrosse unless you opt for the Dynamic Drive Package, which adds these beautiful 20-inch polished alloys and 245-40 all-season tires. The brace consists of 12.6-inch internally ventilated discs up front and 11.3-inch solid discs in the rear. Together, they're able to bring the LaCrosse to a stop from 60 miles an hour in about 120 feet with pretty good pedal feel. Underpinning the car is an independent suspension consistent of McPherson struts in front and an all-new 5-link rear setup to replace the previous 4-link design. Buick says this change led to greater isolation from the road. 
With the dynamic drive package, the LaCrosse benefits from GM's hyper strut front suspension. It's essentially a modified McPherson strut setup, but with a focus on eliminating torque steer and maintaining negative camber through corners to increase peak handling limits. Not only that, but the package introduces four-wheel adaptive dampers, which are able to adapt to varying road conditions and driving behaviors to optimize the ride as needed. A sport mode in the center console allows the dampers to firm up slightly, on top of firming up the steering for a more tactile feel. The steering is a rack and pinion design with variable effort electric power assistance, keeping it light and easy to operate at low speeds and more precise at higher speeds. The overall ratio is 16.2 to 1, it takes 2.81 turns to lock and the turn circle is measured at 38 feet. The LaCrosse is a luxury car with a grand touring feel. With the adaptive dampers and upgraded front suspension, this example handled itself well for such a large car. While I've yet to drive a LaCrosse without the mini bells and whistles, speaking from this experience, I can honestly say that this car did not drive like your typical Buick. Yes, it's very comfortable out on the road and imperfections are properly absorbed, but when put to the task, it remained poised and confident. It's the best driving LaCrosse I've ever driven. The LaCrosse adopts GM's second generation 3.6 liter V6 engine. Now featuring more advanced technology such as active fuel management and auto start stop. It's constructed using an aluminum block with aluminum heads and features dual overhead cams, 4 valves per cylinder, continuous variable valve timing, and direct fuel injection. The compression ratio is rated at 11.5 to 1, while maximum engine speed is around 7,000 RPM. It develops 310 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 282 pound-feet of torque at 5,200 RPM, which allows the LaCrosse to accelerate to 60 miles an hour in about 6 seconds. A new 8-speed automatic transmission delivers power to the front wheels. It's quiet, smooth, and offers great performance in everyday use. Buick's electronic precision shift system is a shift-by-wire system that takes a moment to get used to, but it's a pretty neat design. To put the car into drive, simply press the brake and pull back on the shifter. However, to engage reverse, you need to press the brake, then push the shifter forward and to the left. At that point, a backup camera shows up within the infotainment system. To place the car into park, just press the P button on top. Surprisingly for a Buick, the LaCrosse also features paddle shifters in the back of the steering wheel. While they're not the most responsive things out there, it's a nice sporty touch that I think will be well appreciated. With the high per strut front suspension, everything stays very well controlled in spirited driving and harder launches. In light loads, active fuel management will temporarily deactivate two of the cylinders to enhance fuel economy and reactivate them seamlessly when more power is called upon. The start-stop system will shut the engine down in certain instances when you come to a full stop again to reduce fuel consumption. When you take your foot off the brake pedal, the engine instantly reignites without hesitation. The only downside with GM's start-stop feature is that, at least at this time, you can't disable it like other similar systems. Regardless, all of it works smoothly in the background without intruding on the driving experience. EPA estimates for the LaCrosse using regular unleaded range between 21 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon on the highway, with a combined average of 25 miles per gallon for front-wheel drive models. With all-wheel drive, the average drops to 23 miles per gallon. A 15.8 gallon fuel tank is included unless you opt for all wheel drive, which gets a slightly larger 16.2 gallon tank. This interior is one of the most aesthetically pleasing interiors I've seen from any General Motors product in recent time. Everything from the fluidic shapes to the materials used simply reaffirm what I was saying earlier in the video about the importance of detail. It exemplifies what it means to be a premium luxury sedan. When the previous LaCrosse was introduced for 2010, I thought it had one of the best looking interiors in its segment. It was distinct, unique, and unlike any Buick before it. For 2017, the LaCrosse maintains a unique vibe that gives it a pretty special place in the segment. Sure, when you start tacking on optional features, things can start to get pricey, not unlike a lot of cars nowadays, but it's designs like this that will begin to change people's perceptions of the brand as a whole. One that's become more forward-thinking and innovative with improvements in both quality and style. Specifically with the LaCrosse, those improvements also enhanced interior functionality. The waterfall-themed center console appears to float in mid-air. There's a ton of storage space beneath, and a lot of that owes its thanks to the incorporation of the electronic shifter. 
Eight-way power adjusting front seats are standard on every LaCrosse, as is lumbar support for the driver. Upper trim levels gain memory functions for the driver, but only the premium model gains four-way lumbar and an active massage feature for extra long-term comfort. On the premium, the power-tilting telescoping steering wheel is also heated. The interior is fitted with 10 airbags, including knee airbags for the front occupants. If opting for the premium model, you also gain access to a number of exclusive safety features in addition to all of the standard features such as blind spot monitoring and lane keeping assist. The exclusive features are a part of the optional Driver Confidence 2 package and include automatic park assist, front pedestrian detection, front automatic braking, and adaptive cruise control. The ergonomics are really good, you don't have to stretch too far to reach all the vital controls. The screen is nicely integrated within the dash, it's Buick's IntelliLink system, with a capacitive touch display so it's very responsive just like a smartphone. Navigation and Bose Centerpoint surround sound are optional features. There's a lot of other stuff packed in as well including satellite radio, real-time traffic and weather updates, and so much more. Your climate controls are located right beneath the screen, it's a dual zone setup and the premium model is heated and ventilated seats. I love the fact that you have analog controls, they're easy to use, but you can also control everything within the infotainment system if you prefer. Storage space was utilized well. In the center console, there's two cup holders, a small tray behind the shifter, and a spot to set your phone, which is also where the wireless phone charging system is located if your device is compatible. In the center console, there's a generous amount of space that's also illuminated, houses a power outlet, and your media inputs. In addition to the floating console and door pockets, there's also a generous glove box. The instrument cluster is composed of a combination of digital and analog gauges, with the digital portion being an 8-inch screen that's reconfigurable by the arrow pad on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. A heads-up display is also standard in the premium model. That's controlled via the button stack to the left-hand side of the steering column. So now let's go ahead and see if she sounds, both sitting still and on the road. Alright, let's go ahead and shut her down. Next, we'll make our way to the back seat and check out overall space and amenities. As you would expect for a large Buick sedan, the LaCrosse has a lot of rear seat space. I'm 5 foot 10 and with an ideal seating position for myself in front, I easily have 5 to 6 inches of leg space and about 2 inches or so of head space. You can sit up to 5 people in the lacrosse, there's a spot in the middle. When you hop in the middle, there's a drivetrain hump you're going to want to look out for and if you're on the taller side, you do lose a little bit of headroom so keep that in mind, it might just be for temporary use. In the middle is a fold down armrest with two cup holders and a little bit of storage. There's no handle you have to grab because it's held in by magnets. Pretty cool touch. It probably goes without saying that it's also a comfortable back seat. I mean, there's a lot of room in this car just to sprawl out. This cushion is very long, so it offers a little bit of extra thigh support. There's good lower back support, and you have two adjustable headrests on either side. The headrest in the middle is fixed. 
Of course, you have a lot of pattern across the door panels. There's LED illumination up top, grip handles, coat hooks, plenty of storage across the door panels on the back of the seats. And you know, for a large car, there's also really good visibility. A lot of glass all the way around. I really like the panoramic roof up there. And the quarter windows back here are a nice touch. Just kind of makes things a little bit more airy and open feeling, especially with this light interior color theme. In addition to side curtain airbags, you also have child seat anchors back here, as well as a Bluetooth microphone so all of the passengers can be heard equally. But that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and hop out, go to the back, and check out trunk space. Out back, the LaCrosse has pretty much what you would expect out of cargo space for this class. It's 14.1 cubic feet worth. There's a cargo net towards the edge so you can secure some smaller items, but if you need to extend the cargo space a bit for longer items, you just pull on the two tabs on the upper portion and then fold down the back seat. It's a 60-40 split. Underneath the trunk floor is a spare tire. Your battery is also located in the back to the left hand side of the trunk compartment. Like the interior, overall space back there is utilized pretty well. There's nothing that'll really encumber anything aside from some trunk arms, which you might want to watch some taller items to the side, but that's pretty much it. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the all-new Buick LaCrosse. Be sure to stay tuned next time, leave a like, and subscribe today. There's always a lot more where that came from. Take care everyone.